So I've been getting a message about one of your friends and people that you most likely are an acquaintance with. Because I feel like there's one energy that's mainly around you that I've been picking up on. So let's see what is coming through about this person. Okay, that's interesting. Three of Swords. There's someone around you that is like a friend that I feel like they're going through quite a, I think they're going through a really hard time. I feel like you already know this, but you don't, you don't kind of say much about it because you already sense this about this person, but you're kind of in your own energy of trying to kind of take care of yourself really and putting up boundaries you do kind of care about this person um but you still have the I feel like you still have a lot of boundaries up around this person because they have been through quite a lot but I feel like in their energy you know that if you open up to them that you are actually going to hurt yourself I feel like this person who is your friend is I kind of get that they are a little bit of kind of have this energy that they are a little bit manipulative is what I get I kind of feel like they like to be center of attention they like to kind of call the shots um and I feel that's why you have actually you've got a barrier up around this person like boundaries up around this person because you've already sensed this about them is what I get but they were definitely coming through as a, because I feel like you've changed because before what you used to do, <laughs> five sorts, before what you used to do is you used to let a lot of people in quite quickly, especially around connections, friends, even um, relationships. But because of what has happened to you also in the, in the heart, yeah, in the past um, around heartbreak, around connections, you are you have learned to put yourself first rather than giving all your energy away to people. I feel like this isn't really the best lighting today. Let's see again. So because you have been through a lot of um, disruptive connections, a lot of people that you kind of had to really stand up for yourself. So that's why I feel that with this person, you kind of already sensed this about them. So you weren't going to give kind of everything to this person because you already knew that okay whoever they are I know that I've got to not give everything to someone and you're like now you can see the signs when you come around people you pretty much have a very clear mind and like vision around who this person is and you're also gauging like you're getting to know people more before you let them and I feel like in the past you have been really quick to let people even into your home or into your into your heart because you you are a really caring person but in this kind of next stage and and what you have been through and what you have learned is like you're not really taking shit from anyone and you're like someone has to really earn their spot to be with you is what I get you're not going to give everything to like to anyone like this whoever they are they have to prove themselves to you is what I get so yeah it's quite interesting that's coming through that there's been a lot of connections quite recently in the past that you've let go of is what I'm getting. But we've got the Wheel of Fortune here. You've been more focused on who you want in your circle, who you want in your life, and even friendship, even relationship, getting really clear on what is it that I'm calling in? What am I deserving of? But I feel like you have always had quite a lot of people that have taken advantage of your kindness is what I'm getting very much so but it's like things are changing now because you've realized that you right you would rather be alone than have shitty people in your life that are taking advantage of you um that you've yeah and I'm getting something around letting people into your home or like over giving or maybe you would like cook for people or 
Um, maybe that's just what you do in your culture. You, you know, you would give, you would take care of people, you know, and, but now you're actually looking at people and you're, yeah, I think this is really great because it's coming through that your boundaries and like you're putting, yeah, your boundaries is so clear and you are putting up, um, it's almost like I get you, you have like a vision of who you want your circle to be, who you want your friends to be. And you're very much a different person is what I'm getting. I don't know if I can show that. It's like, yeah, it was the page of cups. So I very much feel like the wheel of fortune, things are changing. And I feel like there is going to be a new, a new connection and friendship. And I'm just going to check it's friendship or in relationship that is going to be coming through for you. I just feel like you've had kind of a stream of people that were narcissists, manipulators, and um, but I feel that this lesson is now done and now you're moving to this kind of this next chapter. Yeah, interesting. I just picked the lovers, but I can't show this card because it's <laughs> um <laughs> has nudity. So I just picked the lovers card and then we had the page of cups come out. So I had a feeling for, for those of you that are single, there is like a new someone that is coming in for you. That's what I'm getting. Um, I'm just going to pick my other card so I can. Some of you have been wanting new friendships too is what I'm getting. So also with the lovers card, it does just represent, it also is a representation of what is it that I'm desiring? I do have like a lot of options in my life. So you are very um, carefully observing what is it that I want to call into my life and who am I letting into my life? Because you're not letting anyone get very close to you because of what has happened in the past. But I definitely, yeah, I'm sensing like there's new people coming through for you, which um, is great. I feel like you have either been trying to manifest this um, for some of you or going to like you're going to travel or you're going to a new location um, where you're going. To, it's I feel like where you're going to meet this person could be quite different to where you normally go or what you normally do. I feel like you're going to take a there's something that you're going to do that's quite new is what I'm getting. Yeah. And with that is going to be a new, like new connections is that, is, that is coming through for you. I think the times that now you've spent alone is changing because your energy is very much in alignment with I'm wanting, yeah, we have the bachelorette. So that that's for the people that are, that are single, um, but you're very much focused on whether it's relationships you know it's just connections in general you're very much focused on um your own self-worth your value and you've cut a lot of people out which just comes through it came through in the other reading as well i think, think things are definitely going to be changing for you <laughs> we have fresh me ace and mirrors and then the influencer um, yeah, there was something that I was also getting about this friendship that you have, whoever this person is, the one that I was talking about in the beginning that was coming through, they very much look up to you. And I feel that maybe there is some comparison, but they do look up to you. And I, I don't know, I can't remember because I'm channeling, but I think I was getting that they want to be like you is definitely the vibe that I'm picking up on around this. But with this kind of this energy, I feel that things are going to be shifting and you're going to be inviting new, new energy into your life. So you're someone that I feel like in your energy, even your friends, or even if you are on social media, you are someone that a lot of people admire and look up to. Um, they like to or want to emanate your energy you might be quite popular, even if this is social media or just when you go out, I feel like you get a lot of attention. There's something about your look that is quite 
different or you just have this real ethereal look because you it's something about your energy so you catch a lot of people's eyes is what I'm getting social media and in person there's something quite unique about you that that yeah that people are drawn to um I'm not I'm just kind of getting this there's something where you can really when you speak to someone or you are around someone you can very much connect to them and they feel seen there's something about your eyes coming through so you might just lock eyes with people when you talk because you there's something about you reading or seeing into their soul or just the way that you have conversations or chat with people and a lot of other people I find is kind of this is what other people are thinking that they find a lot of other connections are superficial but you're more on a deeper level where when you connect with someone whether online or in person definitely in person that they feel that they are heard they are seen because you actually listen to them is what I'm getting but definitely your eyes are coming through as something that very much captures a lot of people's attention but let's have a look at oh, new like new people yeah so i i feel like spirit is saying it was um for you to keep putting up your boundaries especially around that friend who is around you because you already picked up on something was a little bit off of this person um maybe they yeah because it's kind of getting a little bit of manipulation around this is what i get So you, because a lot of people come to you for support or tell you a lot of things, that's why I feel like you kind of can't be bothered when you will, you, it's like you choose to spend who, spend your time or your energy to open up when you decide to. I feel like in the past, you always just let anyone in and then it drained you or you got your heart broken or you invested too much time and people when now you decide how much energy you want to give someone do I suspect they're you know draining me because I feel a lot and I'm not going to give my all I'm putting my energy into myself and especially around who you are trying to call into your life who you are trying to manifest to around my new connections yeah, leap of faith. That's what I thought. I was seeing you, you're going to, when you meet this friend or this this connection, because I, you know, it's going to be different for all of you. For some of you, it's going to be a friendship. For some of you, it's going to be an actual lover. So when you meet this, when you meet this other connection, it's going to be when you do something out of your comfort zone. So I'm sensing that some of you might take a trip alone or you might, um, I don't know, there's a lot of things coming to mind. Like there's something that you're going to do that you haven't done before. Maybe you're going to be collaborating with someone. Maybe you're going to be, yeah, taking a trip. Maybe you're going to join some class that you were kind of didn't want to, but you're going to take a risk or you're going to, yeah, like join some type of group. And this is when you step outside of your comfort zone that things start to change for you is what I'm getting. I almost feel like too, because you have always been the person that everyone comes to with their problems. So I just want to pick up on more because I'm not getting, this is more about you. I want to pick up on who is this yeah, we have like drama. I feel like that is your friend. Um, I yeah, spirit. Um, just tell me about this. The new new people coming in. Let's see. New people. Okay, we have the end. I, that's why I feel, and then we have the, have the two of flutes, which is like the two of cups. There is going to be a connection that is going to come for you. And I feel it's when, 
I, see, I do see a lot of you um, going somewhere, like traveling, because I'm just getting that quite strongly with that. With the end, I feel that some of you too, it might be you not you ending like this friendship, you ending something else in your life in order for this, this new to come in, but it was still coming through here. I feel that this is also around you, you kind of stopping a, it's like transitioning. I'm ending a cycle and I'm walking into something new. I'm walking into a new mindset. I'm walking, you know, I'm leaving the baggage behind. I'm leaving the people behind and I'm starting afresh. I'm taking a leap of faith. I'm doing something new. I'm kind of getting really excite, excited energy around you. Some of you even I'm getting around, maybe some of you too want to move to a location where you're going to have to make new friends. Some of you also have a goal or an aim of, of your lifestyle of what you would like to do. And I feel like something really exciting is going to happen for you. And for sure around friendships and or a connection um, that is a lover or a romantic, you know, like a romantic connection is 100% coming through. So a friendship or romantic connection um, for sure. And this is, this is something that you have been envisioning for your life. So you could be moving somewhere, like I said, or the, there's something about a goal or something that you really wanted to do. So I keep getting this travel. So maybe some of you had a goal that you would really like to travel to a certain destination and maybe you're going to go alone. And also I'm getting you, I'm just getting fresh start, new beginning, new transitioning into something new and stepping into this life and the mindset of what you've always wanted to do and then I see you then meeting someone new and meeting you know for those that are single but for those that are not just like you know you're going to be meeting a friend friendships or friend group and you know like I said it could be just a trip somewhere and then you're meeting a friend and you kind of create this deeper bond between you two because I feel that yeah because it comes through that a lot of friendships in the past have really hurt you and even you have gone through heartbreak before so in that you are very mindful you know of course of who you are letting into your cycle uh into your circle into your cycle yeah because it is a new cycle so let's get some um let's get some last messages what cards do I want I shall pick a spirit and a card. And kind of good messages. <laughs> We've cleared out the clutter, which is interesting because I was picking up on you purifying your mind, but also we were talking about you leaving something behind, and that could have been this friendship because and leaving a lot of old patterns and old energies behind you so you can walk into especially those that are looking for you know connections and love it's like leaving the past behind yeah I was kind of thinking of this card so this kind of connects me to what something in a lifestyle whereas some of you I would seeing that you're moving somewhere because you're one it connects to something you're wanting to do in your career or it is an environment where you can thrive in and following your passion too this could be very much things that you're wanting to try and these are where you're going to meet new friends and or you know these new friendship groups or just like following your heart if you kind of get these nudges which is like as I'm like as you get these nudges from spirit it's like pay attention to signs I love that um spirit will give you messages or you will think to yourself I would really like to go to this dance class or I really want to travel to Japan or something like this and these are nudges yeah from your higher self but also you know from spirit and the universe that 
Sometimes you go to do things when you're following your passion, leaving the old behind, following your passion, and then it's leading you to something that is really amazing, which is in new friendships um, and for some, a new love. So yeah, that is what I have for you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you would like to book a personal reading with me as well. All my information is down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.